Do you want extra security for your Microsoft 365? Well, you could consider something called conditional access policies. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what conditional access policies are and how to set them up. But before we start, I'm Jonathan from Integral IT. We help businesses with the Microsoft 365, their cybersecurity, and their IT support. So check out 365gearsystem.com. Every business should be putting IT security at the top of their agenda. As the saying goes, every little helps. Now there's a feature in Microsoft 365 that can improve your cybersecurity a lot and it's called conditional access policies. So what are conditional access policies? Well, I'm gonna give you an analogy to help you understand. Can you remember when you were young and you used to visit nightclubs? You'd spend all night queuing in the rain and finally you'd get to the front of the queue only to be told, sorry, if your name's not down, you're not coming in. I'm sure we've all been on the receiving end of this type of treatment. Maybe you were too young to get into the nightclub. Maybe you were wearing the wrong clothes or maybe you were too drunk. Whatever the reason, these were all conditions of access to get into that nightclub. Now, wouldn't it be great if we could have conditions of access to get into our Microsoft 365 and access our data? Well, that is exactly what conditional access is. So, have I got any examples how your business could use conditional access in Microsoft 365? You might have a conditional access policy that means that everyone who accesses your Microsoft 365 data and applications must have multi-factor authentication enabled. You might have another conditional access policy that means that everyone who accesses your Microsoft 365 data must be in a certain location. For example, they must be located in the UK or the USA. You might have another conditional access policy that means that everyone who accesses your Microsoft 365 must have a device, a laptop or a computer that is compliant. Maybe you insist that every device must have antivirus software installed and every device must have its hard drive encrypted with BitLocker. Now in a moment, I'm gonna jump onto the computer at the side of me and show you how to set up three common conditional access policies in Microsoft 365. But before I do that, let's talk about licensing. How do you get hold of conditional access in 365? So firstly, conditional access is included in Microsoft 365 Business Premium. This is a product that we recommend that our customers use because it's packed full of security products to help well, protect your business. If you don't use Business Premium and you still want to get your hands on conditional access, then you can do. You can buy a lesser product called Azure Active Directory P1, which costs about a fiver. Now, without further ado, let's hop onto that computer and I'll show you exactly how to set up conditional access policies in your business. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you some common conditional access policies. So to begin with, you need to be logged into Microsoft 365 as an admin. And you can see that I am here because I've got an option for admin. When I launch this, I get into this screen, which is the 365 Admin Center. Now there's some additional admin centers. So we click on show all. You can see down here, I've got these admin centers here. The one I want is called Azure Active Directory. And that should launch this screen here. And I simply click on Azure Active Directory here. Now the first thing you want to do before you start creating any conditional access policies is turn a setting off called security defaults. So what are security defaults? Well Microsoft want every Microsoft 365 customer to have a level of security, okay? And that wasn't happening previously. And there were a lot of Microsoft 365 customers who had no security at all. So Microsoft created this setting called security defaults, which was automatically switched on. And it had things like MFA and things like that. Now, security defaults is okay for some organizations if they don't have an IT resource, but for a lot of organizations who want more control, then it's better to switch security defaults off. For example, you can't create conditional access policies if you've got security defaults switched on. So to switch that off, the first thing you would do is scroll down to properties, 
and you can see here it says manage security defaults now you can see this is switched on so let's simply just switch that off why we're we switching this off microsoft wants to know well we're switching this off because my organization is going to be using conditional access policies we click on save and that has saved. Now the next screen we want to access is the conditional access settings and we find that just by clicking on security here and you can see under protect we've got a setting called conditional access. Now Microsoft along with a lot of things in the Microsoft admin portal they give you a couple of options to do things. There's an easy way which doesn't allow you much control and there's a slightly harder way which requires a bit more IT knowledge. So let's look at the easy way to start with. So you could create a new conditional access policy from template. Microsoft have created some common templates for conditional access policies and you can see there's one here called require multi-factor authentication for all users. You would simply click on there, you would click on next and then in this section here you've got the ability to name your policy but that's already filled in so you can keep that and then you can choose the policy state so it's either off, it's on or it's reporting only. So the advice here is just to create them all in report only and then switch them on a little bit later because you don't want to affect users who are already working on the system. So to do that then you just simply click on create and that policy would be created. So you can see that really is an easy way. But I don't want to do it that way because I want more control. So I'm just going to come out of here. Uh, that's fine, we don't need to save those. We'll go back into conditional access and we'll click on new policy. Now you can see we've got to create all the policy from scratch. So first we've got to name it, so we can just call this whatever we want, something that describes it. Require MFA for all users. Now who are we applying this policy to? So this is the bit of customization that I think is needed. So we want to apply it to all users but we can apply it to different groups in our business. Say for example, we only wanted to apply MFA to the accounts department. We could do that here, but I'm gonna apply it to all users and then I get an, uh, a warning here saying, don't lock yourself out. So I'm gonna exclude an account. So I think it's good practice to exclude an admin account from MFA. Give that admin account a really strong password but exclude it from MFA. This will give you access if there are any problems with MFA. So I'll scroll down here and I'll choose my admin account and I click on select there. Next, we've got to choose what we're applying this policy to. So I will click on here and we're gonna apply it to all cloud applications. The next section is called conditions. We will talk about a few conditions in the next policy, but for this policy, we don't need to. So we'll leave that and then the actual access control itself. So I'm going to click on grant here. In this section, we can block or grant access. I want to grant access, but I want to require multi-factor authentication. So I'll click on select. So let's just review what I've done here. So I've selected everybody in the organization apart from my admin account, accessing any cloud application in Microsoft 365, and I'm gonna grant access to those applications as long as MFA is enabled, and that's it. At the bottom here, we've got the policy state. Again, report only on or off, but I would simply click on create. That policy now appears here in report only. When I'm ready to switch that on, I'll simply go into the policy and I will switch it on. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it as report only. So the next policy we're gonna look at is how to restrict access to your Microsoft 365 to a specific country. So to begin with, let's create that country. So click on name locations, and we've got some options here. So we've got countries, so we can restrict access to the USA or the United Kingdom, but we've also got IP ranges. So in your office, you might have an office with an internet connection and it's got an IP address. So you can simply restrict access to that office. So you can get really grand so go into countries location I'm going to call this our UK HQ that's the name of it and I'll scroll down to United Kingdom and I will click on create and that's created my location there so the next bit is I want to go into policies and I'm going to click on new policy again and I'm going to name this policy so UK only access we'll call it and again to change that 
and again I want to select all my users again we might have different groups in 365 if you've got a big organization you might have a group which is USA users UK users and you can get quite granular but for this uh, tutorial I'm just going to select all users and once again I'm going to exclude my admin account for this and I'm going to click on select again we're going to look at all cloud apps and then in conditions this time I'm going to look at the location okay so we're going to click on not configured here and it will say configure we'll switch that to yes now what we're doing now seems a little bit backward but it will make sense in the end so I'm going to include any location I'm going to keep that the same but I'm going to exclude my new name location that I've created and I'm going to click on select and then back onto access controls this time I'm going to block access I'm going to click on yes yeah, select there so let's review that so we've got all users in the organization apart from the admin when they are accessing all cloud applications and this policy includes every country in the world apart from the UK we're going to block access so we're blocking access to every country in the world apart from the UK I hope that makes sense again do we want to enable it report only I'm just going to keep it like that and I will click on create and then I have my second conditional access policy in place so the next policy we're going to look at is how to grant access to your Microsoft 365 data as long as the device that the user is using is compliant so what do I mean by that well to explain a little bit further I'm going to backtrack a little bit what is a compliance policy so if we go into the admin center again and go to endpoint manager once that launches we can go to endpoint security and then we've got something here called device compliance okay what I can do is create a compliance policy to ensure that every device that is accessing our 365 data has a certain level of security so let me just show you a little bit more create policy we're going to apply this to Windows devices I will click on create I will name it saying our standard security I will click on next and then I've got certain settings so a really simple one to explain is this one here system security antivirus so all this policy is at the moment is saying every device needs to have at least antivirus installed we can take it further we can talk about passwords we can talk about BitLocker what this means is that people aren't accessing your 365 data with devices that just aren't secure okay so once you've got your compliance policy in place I will just come out of there we can go back into the conditional access policies we will click on new policy I would name it so access only for devices in compliance something like that we would apply this to again whatever users we wanted to I'll do what I've done in the previous examples all users and exclude admin and I will click on select again we're gonna go for all cloud apps in the conditions bit we can look at device platform so we can call this a Windows policy if we wanted we could simply click on there and click on Windows again we can get quite granular click on done and then in the access control we can simply click on grant access but require the device to be marked as compliant and once again we can enable the policy if we want or we can simply click on there so what you would need to do for that third one is create your compliance policies in endpoint manager so there are three really common examples of how you can use conditional access policies for extra security within your business so there you have it I've shown you what conditional access policies are and I've shown you how to set them up in 365 so go out and set some up today in your business it will increase your cybersecurity. I look forward to seeing you again soon